welcome back children and today we are going to discuss the question answers of chapter 5 we have completed four videos for chapter 5 natural vegetation and wildlife and i had told you we will discuss colors of both here so you need to open to page 34 and based on our knowledge that we have gained so far let's find some of these answers in which country do equatorial forests occupy a greater area Equator passes through Brazil, so the answer has to be Brazil. What could be the reason behind it? I have already told you because equator passes through Brazil. So 5 degrees north to 5 degrees south is equatorial region in Brazil. What type of forests are found in India are not found in Brazil? These are Himalayan forests. India has Himalayan forests. Brazil does not have Himalayan forests. Which type of forest found in Brazil are found in India too? We have uh, the, <coughs> uh, the deciduous type of forest. We have thorny bushy forests, okay, which are found in Brazil as well as in India. We also have Mediterranean type of forest in the cold regions of Jammu Kashmir. Okay, so these are some of the forests which are found in Brazil as well as in India. In which country a greater diversity of vegetation is found? Naturally, Brazil. Okay, and what is the reason behind it? Because of the large diversity in vegetation, that is variety of forests, mainly because it receives a very high amount of rainfall almost throughout the year. So dense forests are found in the Amazon regions in the north of Brazil. Considering the climate and vegetation type, in which country will forest-based occupations flourish? Okay, considering the climate and as well as vegetation. Now, Brazil, though, though Brazil has huge amount of uh, dense forest in north, but the region is highly inaccessible and the climate is very harsh, hot, humid, and it rains every day. So, uh, forest-based occupation is not possible in Brazil. Okay, but in India, we do have forest-based occupations because the climate in India is much more favorable for uh, occupations that are based on forest land. So, with this, we complete colors of both. Now, we come to the question answers of Chapter 5, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. On the basis of information given in the chapters, that is, considering all the figures, maps, complete the table on page 36. Some of the uh, columns are filled, but the rest we need to fill. Uh, tropical type of forest, semi-arid and thorny forest, savanna type of forest, tropical semi-deciduous forest and the grasslands. Now characteristics of these forests. Tropical forests, they have broad leaves. I have added two more, hardwood type and the, uh, the evergreen tall trees are found. Semi-arid and thorny, they are shrubs and bushes. Normally, they have tiny leaves or thorns. Savannas have tall, rough grasses. Tropical semi-deciduous, they have mixed vegetation, leaf-shedding trees and few evergreen trees are also found. Grasslands, that is the uh, temperate grasslands, they have soft green grass. What about in India? Where is it found in India? Where is it found in Brazil? The tropical forests in India are found in the Western Ghats, Northeastern Himalayas and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. In Brazil, they are found in the Guiana Highlands in the north and also in the Amazon uh, River Basin. Semi-arid and thorny in India, they are found in Gujarat, Eastern uh, Rajasthan, then rain shadow area of the peninsular region. And in Brazil, they are found in the Katinga and the Drought Quadrilateral. Savanna grasslands in India are found in Rajasthan deserts, while in Brazil, it's found in the central Brazilian highlands. The tropical semi-deciduous mixed variety found in India, in central India, Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. And in Brazil, they are found in the Parana Paraguay River Basin, the Pantanal wetland region. The medit the sorry, the grasslands the soft grasslands of the temperate regions in india they are found in the north india like himachal pradesh haryana uttarakhand and in brazil they are found in the pampas region in the south second question is identify the odd one out 
okay now forest keeping in mind forest type of brazil do they have thorny bush yes evergreen yes himalayan forest is the odd one out they don't have himalayan forest they do have deciduous forest with reference to india do we have mangrove forest yes in the coastal regions mediterranean yes in the north of india thorny bush yes in rajasthan but we don't have the equatorial type of forests okay so the next one is with reference to fauna of brazil uh, do they have anacondas yes the golden lion tamarind yes red pandas yes variety of pandas are there they do not have lion so the odd one is lion with reference to flora of india do we have the other plants yes okay do we have anjan yes do we have orchids we don't have orchids though orchids are grown in india in some regions but they are not native to our land banyan trees are also found the other are found in the cold regions that's in the himalayan region okay anjan trees are also found in india deciduous type then we come to question 3 match the following evergreen trees evergreen forests okay the evergreen forest is pau brazil deciduous forest is sal no just a minute deciduous coastal regions have sundar trees okay i've already matched them with the answers okay i thought it we have to match it i've already given you the answers children evergreen forest teak deciduous forest is pau brazil coastal areas have sundarban or sundari trees himalayan regions have sal especially in the foothills of himalayas thorny and bushy forest is example of khejri on which the camels normally feed then uh, question answers will take one or two here and then the rest will take in the next uh, video question 4 answer in short differentiate between the forest type in brazil and india now you have to differentiate here so we need to keep in mind which is not found in brazil found in india which is found in brazil and not found in india so that is tropical evergreen forest which is found in brazil brazil has vast area covered by equatorial rain forest in the north because the equator passes through north of brazil india has very few evergreen trees on the western ghats and andaman nicobar islands but not tropical uh, we don't have equatorial evergreen forest Himalayan forest India has Himalayan forest which includes three types of forest depending on the altitude at great heights we have seasonally flowering plants at mid medium height we have coniferous trees like pine deodar fir at lower heights we have mixed forest coni as well as deciduous mainly sal trees these Himalayan forests are not found in Brazil as they are uh, they there there are no high mountains in Brazil Second is correlate wildlife and natural vegetation in India and Brazil. Okay, richness and variety in wildlife is related to richness and variety of vegetation. Vegetation and wildlife is always related to each other. More the vegetation, more will be the wildlife. As wildlife depends on herbivores, and herbivores depend on grass and vegetation. So wildlife depends on herbivorous animals. Herbivorous animals depend on vegetation like grass. For example, in grasslands of Brazil, more grass-eating deers are found, and so more number of jaguars that feed on the deer. Indian bustards are found more in the grasses of Rajasthan as they feed on insects found there. The Amazon Valley has thick forest, so a variety of arboreal monkeys, birds, insects are found, and butterflies as well. As Amazon region and Pantanal wetlands are marshy, a large number of snakes and crocodiles are found there. Okay, so with this we stop here. In the next video, we'll continue with these answers as well as the give reasons. So till then, take care. God bless you, and thank you.